Hello, and welcome to the Z-Hut. Today, we're going to take apart a game controller and see what all parts we can uh, scavenge out of it to reuse with our electronics projects. Now, I do believe this is a PlayStation controller. Not sure for which PlayStation, but uh, I could be wrong. It might be Xbox, but... Uh, if you actually recognize this and know what system it's for, uh, leave a comment below. I'd be interested to know. Um, I got this out of a free box at a garage sale, and I've got no use for them. Uh, I tried it out to see if I could interface it with the uh, an Arduino board using the USB host shield, and I had no luck. I think it might be garbage, and that's why it was in the free box anyway. And the battery also doesn't hold a charge so all right well let's tear this apart and see what all we can scavenge out of it there's just a couple of screws in the bottom and well that's the first thing we scavenge these little screws I always save them because you never know when you need a little screw for a project It's better to save them than have to go to the hardware store and spend a quarter on one or two screws. Let's see, I got one here. All right, almost got it apart. Now, if you've watched some of my other videos, I talked about saying I was going to do this because um, I was building a robot, and uh, actually it was like one of my last videos. We showed how to use one of the joysticks out of one of these game controllers to control the servos in the robot, and uh, also going to be controlling... The direction and speed of the DC motor that drives it. All right, I got all the screws out, so hey, it pops right open nice and easy. This will go in the garbage. I got no use for the case. Now, of course, we got a battery here, but like I said, it doesn't hold a charge, so this will go to the recycling center. No point keeping a dead battery for anything. Now we got here, I've taken a few of these apart over the years, and some of them have these vibration motors that make the controller vibrate. And it's not too hard to get that little vibrator off of them. Um, you just pry on it lightly with a screwdriver. Just don't pry so hard that you, you bend anything, because then the motor will wobble. But yeah, it's two nice little DC motors and they obviously are for like five volts so them can be definitely used in some project we'll cut them out alright now next cut this out I've gotten some of these before and I've saved them little bit of work yeah, there we go and get it apart and oh, there we go we got ourselves a little push button always useful for some project there's two of them in here I'll take that one apart later all right, now we got to take a couple more screws out. Yeah, let's see, there's one there. One there. All right, there's our first joystick. Cut that out of there. Now, what I usually do with these is I 
desolder them from the board. Um, the joystick is a little chewed up. Looks like whoever had this was a kid and he liked to gnaw on his controller, but it feels like everything's still good. Oh, also there's a little LED we can desolder. Um, I might not mess with the LED. I actually have a ton of them. I bought a big assortment of them not too long ago, but otherwise you just um, use your soldering iron and a desoldering pump, and they're not that hard to get off. And okay, yep, this one has the push button built into it too. Yeah, this one's in a little better shape cosmetically. It feels like it's good. So I'll definitely desolder both of them. Find a use for them. Oh, we got two more screws. Alright, come out of there. I must not have gotten that one all the way out. There we go. Give it a push. There she's starting to come out. And look at all the goodies. All right, well, we got... Well, there's two more push buttons, but the... Uh, these ones I won't save. These you got to use that little tab on... Um, I'll check them out with the my voltmeter, the continuity setting, and see if you just touch them. But uh, I kind of doubt it. And this is obviously our wireless board, this little piece here. That I'm not going to bother saving. This little USB plug, that I will probably desolder because you can use that to uh, hook onto a project to power it from 5 volts using a USB cable. So them are always handy. There's a little push button right here, too, as well. I'll probably desolder that. Um, game pads I'm not going to mess with. And there's a bunch more LEDs. Um, I generally don't really mess with desoldering LEDs because they are extremely cheap. And like I said, I've got a ton of them. I think I ordered like 500 of them at one time. Otherwise, there is some surface mount components on there if you wanted to try to scavenge them. Uh, I see a lot, quite a few resistors and a few diodes. Other than that, there ain't really a whole lot on that to scavenge. So, well, let's take a final look at what all we got out of here. So, we got a small assortment of, looks like they're all the same size screw. We got our two little DC motors. Um, I've got a bunch of motors. I might just leave the vibrators on there for now in case I run across a project I want to do and I want to have a vibrator in it. So I've got a big box of DC motors. There's probably 50, 60 of them in there. Then uh, there's the screws. There's our DC motors. Then we got our two little push buttons. there and this will be going in the garbage then we got our two little joysticks so not a ton of things but the the main two things it's nice to get out of these is these joysticks I mean they're not horribly expensive but if you go to a lot of garage sales like I do I run across a couple of these every year in the free box and uh, I grab them because why buy a joystick when these are the exact same thing except the ones you get. I have a little breakout board on them. And I just take some perf board and put it on there and then solder some wires to run out to connect to my Arduino or whatever I'm using them to control. And all they are is they're just two potentiometers in there on an XY axis and then a push button. 
So that's what we scavenged out of it. Um, this will probably end up saving me. Oh, let's see. These are usually around a dollar something a piece. So let's say three dollars for the two of them. And DC motor like this is going to be a couple dollars each. Nothing else. If you didn't need the motors, you could crack them open and get a couple little magnets. Uh, they're by no means anything special. They're not going to be earth magnets. They're just irregular, cheapy magnets. No, I noticed this one here has a heavier weight on it than this one. That's odd. Didn't notice that before. And two little push buttons. Um, I'll eventually find something to use them on. So, well, that's what we got. And uh, of course, I said I was going to do this, so you could see what you could scavenge out of these. I mean, of course, this one was in a clear see-through case. Most of them aren't. So if you didn't know what was inside, now you do. All right, uh, well, I'd like to thank you for joining us here at the Z-Hut today. I hope you have a great day, and remember, have fun building.